Number 10. Jars of Death Deep in the mountains of Lao, over a hundred different jars of death have been found across at least 15 sites. It's one of the most incredible archaeological mysteries out there right now, as although it's clear that people were burying their dead inside of jars as early as 900 BC, nobody really knows why they were doing it. Also, archaeologists don't know anything about the culture of people who brought the jars to the mysterious sites from all over the region. Archaeologist Douglas O'Reilly says that there is no evidence of human occupation anywhere near where the jars of death have been found. Plus, researchers from the Australian National University discovered intricately carved discs used as burial markers, with some of them placed face down, and this has only increased the intrigue and mystery. And to make things even more mysterious, the discs show various different imagery, from animals to geometric designs, with absolutely no correlation to one another. The jars that the dead were buried in are extremely large, often with enough room for three or four people. These are huge burial jars, and similar artifacts have been found in Indonesia, India, and even Japan. But the truth behind their significance remains a mystery even today. Number 9. Secondhand Stonehenge New discoveries at the ancient site of Stonehenge have revealed an even greater mystery behind the famous Neolithic archaeological site. We already know that Stonehenge was crafted during a few different phases between the years 3000 and 2000 BC. However, in 2015, a team of researchers from the University College of London found that the infamous blue stones used in the construction of Stonehenge were extracted from quarries just over 100 miles or 160 kilometers away in western Wales. Researchers then went to Wales and dug around to see if they could find any even older sites located near to where the blue stones were taken. They ended up finding evidence of an even older stone circle. And while you might be confused as to why this is important, the simple truth is that Stonehenge may have been used from second-hand materials. The builders originally constructed a site between 3600 and 3200 BC, and for whatever reason, that first site was dismantled and then re-erected at Stonehenge 200 years later. Unfortunately, researchers still don't know why this happened. Nobody knows why the ancient architects would tear down one monument just to build another. And to be honest, this has really just made the mystery around Stonehenge even more boggling. Number 8. Ancient Egyptian Brewery the world's oldest mass production brewery was just found in Egypt. A team of archaeologists working at a funerary site in the south of Egypt found a high production brewery estimated to be over 5,000 years old in the first months of 2021, starting off the year on a high note for Egyptian archaeology. The site contained about 40 earthenware pots according to the Egyptian Tourism Ministry. The brewery was likely constructed during the era of King Narmer who actually helped in founding the First Dynasty and unifying Upper and Lower Egypt. This is one of the oldest examples of alcohol being produced in mass amounts for consumer usage. It would have been done with a mixture of grains and water being heated inside of the earthenware pots, with incredible amounts being brewed at a single time. But, of course, this brewery was probably not a public service to the commoners. It was probably used to service royalty and the rich, and the beer may have been used in royal rituals and maybe even sacrificial rites. Fancy drinks were clearly for fancy people back in those days, but you probably don't want to drink any leftovers that might have been left behind in ancient Egyptian clay pots, or you'd get very, very sick. Number 7. A Lucky Find A German farmer became the luckiest man on earth after he accidentally found an ancient Roman bronze horse head on his property. The archaeological discovery itself is quite fascinating, with the Roman horse head dating back about 2,000 years, to a time when the Roman Empire ruled much of Germany. But the story behind the farmer who found the head is almost even more interesting. It was first discovered on the farmer's property in 2009, at the bottom of a 36-foot or 11-meter well. After the discovery, the farmer handed the relic over to the state, who paid him a whopping $55,946 for it. 
However, after reading reports that the discovery was bigger than the farmer had been led to believe, he sued the government for ripping him off. This was, and still is, considered the best preserved Roman bronze horse head in the entire world, and the man ended up earning about $1 million more from the government, seeing as it had been estimated at a worth of $2 million. He got half, the government was embarrassed, and it was an overall positive win for archaeology. Have you ever found buried treasure? What happened? Did you get paid for it? Tell me about it in the comments section below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more intense videos just like this one. Number 6. The Biggest Dinosaur Footprints Scientists have just published the incredible details of a discovery made in Western Australia. It all started when a research project headed by paleontologist Steve Salisbury stumbled across the largest known dinosaur footprint that ever belonged to a sauropod. This huge footprint is roughly 5 feet and 7 inches in length, meaning many people can actually lie down inside the grooves stomped into the earth. There are other dinosaur tracks in the area, but this one is by far the largest. And judging by the sheer size of the print, scientists have determined that the sauropod that left it behind was at least 18 feet or 5 meters at the hip which is significantly larger than any land animal roaming around today. You probably want to know what type of dinosaur left the footprint, but the truth is that the scientists aren't exactly sure. What we do know is that it was definitely one of the largest of all the sauropods, which were an amazing group of dinos that included some fan favorites, like the Brontosaurus. They existed all over Australia 130 million years ago. But what's really amazing is that nobody ever recognized their footprints because they are literally so big. They basically just look like puddles in the ground unless you're a trained paleontologist. Number 5. Oldest Handwritten Document The oldest handwritten documents in the United Kingdom have just been found during excavations in London. According to the Museum of London Archaeology, they managed to decipher 87 out of the 400 tablets found, with all the documents originally being written sometime between around 40 to 60 AD, during the initial Roman occupation of the island. These were found at the dig for the new headquarters of Bloomberg, along with over 700 different artifacts. One of the messages simply read, Therefore, I ask you, in your own interest, not to appear shabby. You will not thus favor your own affairs. This almost sounds as if the Romans were trying to shape up the British because they looked a little too shabby for their own good. There was also evidence found of Roman schooling, as the Romans had undoubtedly brought their own education system to England. But the best part has yet to be found for sure, as more and more of these amazing documents are still being translated. Number 4. Indigenous Artifact an amazing archaeological discovery was just made on a beach in British Columbia, when a carved stone pillar appeared during low tide. This happened near the capital city of Victoria, and the Royal BC Museum has already confirmed that the artifact is an indigenous cultural treasure. Since its discovery, the museum has been working closely with the Eskimalt and Songhees First Nations to determine where the artifact belongs. And according to the Songhees First Nations chief Ron Sam, there have been many artifacts unearthed in the area throughout the years, but nothing has even come close to being as amazing as this stone pillar. There isn't any concrete information about when the pillar was built or what it was supposed to represent, but some conservationists believe that the pillar may have stood at the edge of a cliff above the beach, only to fall down during a landslide and get buried. After a recent storm, the pillar was likely exposed, and that was when it was found by curious locals. Number 3. Ancient Warrior Archaeologists have recently discovered one of the most spectacular tombs in all of Greece. In fact, it was labeled as the most significant archaeological discovery in decades. A team of archaeologists from America, working with the University of Cincinnati, found an unknown soldier inside of a 3,500-year-old tomb. The skeleton of the unknown soldier was found with jewelry and weapons, indicating that he must have been a very important person. 
Scientists are saying that the man likely died somewhere between the ages of 30 and 35, and that he was either a raider, a merchant, or a powerful warrior. The researchers even found inscriptions in his jewelry that suggest he was part of an early civilization living on the island of Crete in the year 2000 BC. But just wait, this discovery gets even more incredible. The archaeologists made this amazing discovery while excavating the Palace of Nestor, a palace referenced by Homer in his epic writing, The Odyssey. It was allegedly a place where men made sacrifices to the gods. King Nestor was also the man who led the forces of Greece against Troy in Homer's other writing, Iliad. But unfortunately, the great warrior buried here is not King Nestor. As of now, nobody knows who he is. Number 2. Ancient Rock Art Polish archaeologists have just discovered some extremely ancient rock art depicting humanoid figures, and it is incredibly mysterious. The paintings were apparently created by an indigenous group from Southeast Africa, a group that has been around for 87,000 years. The depictions show buffalo heads, strange creatures that almost look like aliens, and other animals. The discovery took place in Tanzania, at a site at the Swaga Swaga Game Reserve. And the indigenous group I'm talking about is known as the Sandawe, and they are still living in the area to this very day. According to the National Post, researchers have even claimed that the Sandawe people possess the oldest DNA lineages. They managed to create this impressive artwork with a type of red dye. And the reason that the depictions have survived for so long is because they were painted on the side of the rock overhang completely protected from flowing water and sunlight. While most of the depictions are relatively normal, the big mystery here is the humanoid figures with round heads. Nobody is entirely sure what these creatures are, if they symbolize extraterrestrial visitors, or if they're simply artistic interpretations of the local people. Number 1. Ancient Mobile Phone In an obscure archaeological revelation, a mobile phone has allegedly been discovered in Austria dating back 800 years. Conspiracy theorists are claiming that the mobile phone was left behind by alien visitors, while mainstream scientists are denouncing the discovery as a hoax. And to be quite honest, the mainstream scientists might have it right on this one. There has been a distinct lack of information on the dig and even the pictures are a little iffy. The alleged UFO phone has keys with unidentifiable characters on them, it's shaped just like an old brick phone, and there appears to only be one photograph of it. These old brick phones might have been from the last century, but they couldn't possibly be eight centuries old, could they? The truth here is that it's highly unlikely that an alien visitor to our planet dropped their cell phone 800 years ago. But then again, what if an alien visitor did drop their cell phone 800 years ago, and it became the template for our original cell phones? This is one of those archaeological discoveries that will probably never be proven and will remain controversial until it's eventually forgotten, or until the alien comes back to collect his lost phone. What are your thoughts on an 800-year-old mobile phone? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and come back soon for another amazing video.